Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Turian's Adventures, the series where I play indie point and click adventure games for around about 15 minutes to see what they're like, and then hopefully if you guys enjoy them you'll go and buy them and play them for yourselves too. And this week we are playing Henry Moss and the Wormhole Conspiracy, which looks really really cool actually. The developers for this game reached out and offered me a key to play it on my channel and I snapped their hands off for it really because it, it just looks really great. So we're going to jump in, we're going to select new game. I've never played this before so I don't know what to expect but we shall find out. Let's um, do we want to run through tutorials as we play? Why not? We don't always do tutorials but this time we will. But yeah this looks really cool. It's got voice acting and everything. Whoosh. I love the art style as well. It's almost like comic book style. It looks really, really Have good. Have you received landing details from Axi One's air control? Affirmative. Did you put those coordinates into the landing tracker? Roger that. And did you unlock the cargo release valve? Yes, Mum. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just checking. Here we go. We're about to land. Your time to shine, Henry. <laughs> Quite a good intro, I like it. Chapter 1. The Moss Family Business. Axawan, Far Star Galaxy. I like the sort of, um, the visuals are great, the music's really, really cool. And here we go. Wow, this looks really good, doesn't it? Well, here we are, Henry. Axiwan, the famous hollow world. Finally, my first bar star delivery. Look at all this untamed wilderness ready to be explored. Only the brave or foolish venture here. Axiwan, home of the ferocious Antoid warriors. Easy now, space boy. You're not a far star explorer yet. And as for the Antoids... Hmm, who are the Antoids? Oh, is that them? <laughs> This is great so far. I'm already really sold on the story. It's cool. I love the ants. They're, they're really good. <laughs> it's taken them forever to get there. <laughs> In your own time, ants. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me do the talking here, space boy. The Antoid Queens can be impatient. Wait. There's more than one? Ahem. Long life to you, honorable queen. Our apologies for the delay. The nebula winds were unexpectedly turbulent and a short delay to you, earthlings, is an uncountable torrent of time to us. Such abhorrent ignorance shall not be forgotten. Ooh. But no matter. So this is the fabled Moss Child. Well, come on then, let me take a look. Step forward, Henry. Let the Honourable Queen see you. Okay, left click on where you'd like Henry to walk to. So it's, it's basic sort of point and click tutorial, we know what to do. And double click to make Henry run. Okay, straightforward enough. Let's go close enough so they can have a look. I like how they're talking with her. Uh... Silly courtiers could have the etiquette of this earth child. Then they wouldn't have to be banished to the great scorching desert, now would they? Enough with pleasantries. To business. <laughs> Straight down to I business. Trust you have delivered everything intact this time. Certainly, Your Honourableness. There still remains the subject of payment, however. Henry, go release the cargo valve for me while I sort this out. Yeah, give us our money. We're not doing this for free. Good. Run along then. Right, click on objects to interact with them. This could be environments to explore, things you may pick up, or others you may want to speak with. Okay. Uh, click on your backpack to view your list of goals and show hints. That's interesting. 
So it's like a little goal system as well, which is quite cool. Um, okay, approach the Antoid Queen, release the cargo valve. Simple enough so far. Uh, oh, okay, and it shows you what you're looking at as well. Let's look at the fuel pump. Oh, yeah. Pump it. <laughs> the fuel pumps are groovy in the fast stars. I've got to say, I'm liking the sense of humour in the game so far as well. Let's go on to the ship. This feels really well made, though, to me. Uh, so there's a gravity lift. What else do we have here? A bunch of things it doesn't look like we can interact with. Uh, first aid kit, a box. There's a blue spacesuit and an orange spacesuit. With C6 mega drives and dual carbon busters. Not Top of the range. A few custom additions. Okay. Mum suit. A C7 mega drive and triple carbon busters. Wow, that sounds even better than our one. Uh, so we've got some hibernation pods here. Hibernation pods. Side effects included. And a fire extinguisher. In case of emergencies. Or in case I get bored. Yeah, so it's worth also pointing out that I'm playing a beta version of the game, like a, a pre-release version, and I believe the game is actually out now, so there might be some slight differences between what I'm playing and what you guys will play. But I'll leave a link um, to the Steam store page in the description below so that you can, guys can go and check it out if you want to play it after this video. Uh, let's go up in this lift. Of course. Alright, in this box maybe, I'm guessing. Click on the hand and eye icons to toggle between them. Click on hand items to use them on objects. Uh, click on the eye to view them. Okay, so that's like I look at and use things. You may also hand objects on the other hand object. What? Okay, I guess that means we can hold space to use the info lens and view all of the interactable objects in the environment. Ah. Oh wow, he actually puts... The little glasses on as well. That's a really nice little touch. Uh, so we've got a second aid kit. <laughs> I like that. Hyper magnet. We'll take that. So what do we actually need? Fuses. I mean, are these... Is this the hints? Or is that something else? So let's try looking at the suits. Maybe there's something in the suits we can use. C6 mega drives and dual carbon busters. Not to mention a few custom additions. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Maybe we need the fire extinguisher. In case of emergencies. Or in case I get bored. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we've got these things we can interact with here. We can interact with this as well, but I don't think it will work, so we can't go back down. I need to fix this so I can get out of here and help Mum. The other part should be here somewhere. Right, so we need one more part. Unless, wait, is that it? A gravity battery? Perfect, a gravity battery. It is indeed. Okay, so can we? What do we do? Put these together, or? Yep, yeah, looks like it. So we've now got a Magno Graffiti Fuse. Okay, let's use it. Alright, so can we go up now? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I've got to say, I love the animation. Right, where are we now? It's an inflatable raft. There's a flight deck and there's a fire axe and some other bits and pieces. On our family fishing trip to Planet Miller. That feels like forever ago now okay can we use the axe or get the axe cosmos knows how an axe would help in a fire <laughs> but mum once used it to cut us free from a hypnobite i like how it says cosmos knows instead of like god knows it's quite quite clever <laughs> right into the flight deck then wow look at this place it's even got like floating chairs it's pretty cool that's all our ship computer it's a pretty nice computer. Hi, Hull. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so that sounds like that might turn out to be evil. Uh, what we got here? My ship's cleaning schedule, also known as my chores list, which I still need to complete. 
Okay, uh, we've got the steering wheel as well. A towel. Okay. So how do we do that then? This one here? Yeah, we should, but let's use the steering wheel first. <laughs> because why not, right? One day I'll be able to pilot this baby without stalling. <laughs> yeah, right, Henry. And maybe one day walruses will fly. Alright, so now I guess we have to head down... Yeah, return to the launch pad. That's our next thing to do. So let's head back down then. Uh, we can run. Down we go. And down again. In a single drop of aqua. Why, of course. Such a mighty drop will sustain us for generations. <sighs> Henry will collect our payment. It might just be enough for his pocket money. <laughs> I'll prep the ship for launch. Yeah, I guess what they would deem to be enough is slightly different to what two full sized, well, humans, I guess? Sort of. <laughs> Okay, we got an achievement. First Far Star Delivery. Right, so what do we need to do now then? Collect the payment? Accept the payment from the Untoyed Queen. Okay, we can do that. There's the fuel pump. Uh, is there anything else? Yeah, there is actually. There's ant Those hills. Ant hills are huge. Right, Queen. of service provided by the Moss family, I offer you a glorious quilt crafted by a generation of Antoids. May it serve you well on your journey through life. Oh, lovely. Thank you. This I always want it. I regret to inform you that this will be your final Axiwan delivery. Uh, why? Oh, did I do something wrong? Axiwan has signed a new deal with a very generous supplier. It's strictly business, Moss Child. Uh, why did you call me the Moss Child? Why aren't we delivering to Axiwan anymore? It must be an. It must be nice being queen. Farewell. Uh, let's do this. Why did you call me the Moss Child? Your reputation precedes you, young one. We Antoids are particularly interested in ancestry. <laughs> it is the bedrock of our civilization. The House of Moss is of great repute. There has been much gossip in my court anticipating your arrival today. Uh, okay, why aren't we delivering anymore? Why aren't we delivering to Axiwan anymore? A leader must do what is best for her hive. We were offered a deal we simply could not refuse. What kind of deal? The kind that ensures the survival of my people. Ask me not about it, Earth Child. Such royal matters are above your station. Alright, must be nice being queen. It must be nice being queen. It has its ups and downs. I do rather enjoy banishing traitors to the great scorching desert. That sounds pretty evil. <laughs> Fair enough, farewell. Okay, so I guess we're we're heading off. Um, can we do anything with the fuel? Oh, yeah. No, we can only do that again. <laughs> Alright, I guess we don't need any fuel then, so on board the ship it is. And let's see what happens next. Are you done saying your goodbyes? You don't think we're coming back? Not anytime soon, I hope. Oh, a space fax. Space fax? Let's get it. Uh, okay, how do we... Do we do it on the wall panel? Let's yeah. have a look at it, Henry. Okay, there it is. Do we just hand it to the mum? Yeah, nice. Mm. 
What does it say? Dear Moss family, an opportunity like this comes only once in a lifetime. An adventure! A representative of Moss Family Supplies is cordially invited to negotiate an exciting new business venture at the offices of Outer Core Enterprises on Cape Cuckoo. Ooh. I'll set the coordinates. Not so fast, Henry. Cape Cuckoo isn't safe. I'm dropping you home first. Ah, uh, what? Says who? I'm old enough to handle myself. Says me. No fear. Please don't fight me on this, Henry. I'm going alone. End of discussion. That doesn't sound oh. like fun. I'll go get the hibernation pods. Something tells me that we won't be doing that properly. <laughs> Earth, near the star galaxy. New Melbourne. Looks pretty cool. Very futuristic. <laughs> nice pajamas. Very space themed, aren't they? Why can't I come with you? Oh, Henry, I've told you already. Cape Cuckoo isn't safe for you. I promise to be back by Solar Down. But Mum, that's not fair. You haven't even told me what you're doing on Cape Cuckoo. I'm sorry, Space Boy. No compromises on this one. I promise to explain everything when I get back. Now I'm ready <sighs> to prep. And if I remember correctly, you have cosmic charts to memorize for your test. I'm not going anywhere until I know you're dressed and studying in your room. Fine. I love it. There's everything space themed as well. It's really cool, isn't it? Like even the pajamas and things like that. But you know what, guys? I think that's where we'll, we'll call it for this one. If you want to play more, you're going to have to go and do so yourself by clicking on that link down in the description below the video and checking it out for yourself. I have really, really enjoyed this. And actually, it might be one that I revisit on the channel at some point down the line because I'd love to see where this game goes because um, I'm already hooked on the story. It's very story driven too, and, and I quite like that. Um, but that will do it for this one. So a big thank you again to the devs for sending me a key to this. It's been really fun playing it. Um, a big thank you as well to all of you for watching. And to my patrons, Arcades Games and Wayne for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new. Or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.